We are going to learn how to use Excel to find the areas of group of circles, trapezium. You can find the area of a circle, just one. But what of if I give you 50 circles, 10 circles, to use Excel to find the area of all those circles simultaneously? Engineering got a lot of mathematical formulas, which we usually use for analysis and designs. It is quite easy to use manual calculation for simple task. But when you start getting complex analysis and design, you have options. Number one, you buy developed programs. Another option is you can develop your own program. If you're good at using Python, Java, or any programming language, C, C++, any programming language that you're comfortable with, you can use it to develop an engineering analysis and design software, either for yourself or for your company. Another option is there are some tasks that Microsoft Excel can help us to solve, which we are going to see here in this video. Area of a circle. What is the formula to calculate area of a circle? Having a radius. To calculate the area of this circle, the formula is pi r squared. This pi is a long value, though we can have 3.142. How do you use Excel to input this formula? In Excel, I will start with an equal sign. In Microsoft Excel, you start with an equal sign. Pi is already a formula recognized by Excel. You are going to write pi open and close a bracket. The multiplying sign is the asterisk on your computer. Next, for the R, you locate the position of the cell for the number under consideration. Let's assume that we are considering B3. That's where maybe B3 is a cell where you wrote 4, for example. Or what you have there is 1.8, maybe meters or centimeters. The formula says R squared. That means you multiply it twice. There are two methods that you can apply in Excel. You can multiply this B3 again. This is one method you can use. Another formula you can use is equal PI, which is for pi, multiplied by B3. We are just using B3 here. It can be C4. It can be any cell then raise to the power of 2. This can be found on your keyboard. So on your keyboard, you are going to have this asterisk as shift while you are holding it. While this can be shift on your keyboard while you are holding 6. While this is shift plus 9. And this is you hold your shift key while you press zero. With this, we can now solve the area of a circle in Excel. For the area of a trapezium, it is half times A plus B in brackets multiplied by the height. If this is the trapezium, for example, this is your A and this is your B. This is the height. You're going to have A plus B in addition, multiply by the height, multiply by 1 over 2. In Excel, if we want to type this in Excel, we are going to have equal sign. You can have 1 divided by 2 in brackets, asterisk B5 plus C5. This will be in brackets times the cell where you have your H might be D5. Press enter key. And this is what you use inside Excel for the formula. Now, we know how to calculate area of a circle and how to use it in Excel. The next thing we want to learn now is conversion. In engineering conversion, converting engineering units, you have to learn how to convert cm, centimeters to millimeters, meters to millimeters, millimeters to meters, and so on. Later we're going to be learning conversion to feet, inches, and all that. What is one centimeters in millimeters? Ten millimeters. What is 
one meter in centimeters a hundred cm what is one meter in millimeters one thousand with this what is 50 millimeters to cm five how did you get it 50 divided by what 10 it will give you 5 cm what is 7 meters to millimeters 7000 it will give you 7 times 1000 so you now have 7000 millimeters we have done this by learning how to use this everybody on your paper i want you to write out the areas of these eight circles in centimeters a is in centimeters b is in centimeters c is in centimeters d is in meters e is in meters f is in centimeters g is in millimeters h is in centimeters you're converting the e 1.5 and you're converting g 7 millimeters you're converting d which is 10 meters so you have three conversions Convert everything to centimeters. A is in centimeters already. B is in centimeters already. C is in centimeters already. D is in meters. Convert it to centimeters. E is in meters. Convert it to centimeters. F is already in centimeters. G is in millimeters. Convert it to centimeters. H is already in centimeters. What do you need in this circle to start your calculation in Excel? Who will tell me? What do you need? Radius. Next, we now go to Excel. Depending on the cell that you want to start with. Here, I want to start with cell C3. I can go up and click cell C2. We need the radius, isn't it? So I will type radius. In Excel, just start typing. You don't need a cursor like in Microsoft Word. Once you start typing, the cell that is highlighted, the text or the number will begin to appear there. So here I have a radius. I can click this radius and increase it to this. Then I'm moving to E2 and I will type, we're looking for area of a circle. I can type circle area. I will click out, I will click E2 again. What did I increase this to? That's 24. So I will click here. I will increase it to 24 here. So now give me the values we obtained from here. A, B, C, D to H. What is the first number? 4 centimeters. What is the next number? 7 centimeters. What is the next one? 8 centimeters. What is the next one? 1,000 centimeters. What is the next value? 150 centimeters. What is the next one? What's the next value? 0.77. What's the next one? 8.4. Now, I'm just increasing this just to make it bold for everybody to see. But normally, you don't need to do that. It's just for everybody to see what I'm doing. This is 4 centimeters, isn't it? In these 4 centimeters, which cell is this for? What is here on top? What is this? The alphabet is C. And what is the number? Three. So this is what C3 is equal to 4. Tell me the formula. What formula will I use? Equal sign first. Good. Next. Pi. Open and close. Shift 8. C3. Good. Do you want us to, which formula do you want us to use? The extra risk or multiplying them again? The first one. Okay. Extra risk C3 again. Now the formula is complete. What's the next thing I will do? I'll press enter key. What's the answer I got? 50. Is this into two decimal places? I will click this 50. I will come up here. Did you see the decreased decimal? Up here, you have increased decimal. If I increase this, can you see that I lost two decimal places? Do you, do you observe anything? When it was in 50, it rounded it up to the nearest whole number. Next. I will click this E3 again. Do you think I need to repeat all these things one by one? No. I will bring this my cursor. You see this cursor is big. If I bring it down here, what is it now? It is now small. I will hold it down. I will drag everything down. What you're seeing here is because it is compressed. The next thing I will do is I will move my cursor up here. I will drag this open a bit. 
another one is not showing i will drag it off a bit now i can see all the numbers so for the radius of 4 cm what is the area 50.27 for the area of 7 cm 153.94 centimeters squared so for 0 0.7 cm the area is 1.4 seven centimeters squared and for the area of 1000 we have a very large number now it is your turn i want everybody now to go to their computer i'm coming around to make sure that everybody have this on their screen start